you any sort of questions to give us yeah, a bit more of an understanding about his experiences in China? Yes. So I might ask you to pick out a few of your favourites and just sort of tell us about how you kind of came to take a photograph or something about. Oh yeah, the one behind Andrew there. Um, this one here, I was just, there's lots of little shops like this all throughout the hutongs in China, which are just the traditional Chinese alleyways. But she kind of captured my attention. I don't know why. And I went to take a photo and I got screamed at. <laughs> um, so she, the only way she would let me take a photo is if I bought something first. So I bought a Coke and then she was happy to smile. She <laughs> sat up and was very happy after I bought something. So that one is kind of a favourite just for the person that's in the photo, I guess. But yeah. Was there, there another one? Oh. What happened over here with this one? Um, that's, just, that's just in a park. Um, everyone in China seems to play this game. Um, I have no idea what it is. I think it's Mahjong. But it's quite a social event, this game. There'll be two people playing and then about 15 guys all giving advice and making noises and getting really involved in it. And this is a really common scene all throughout China. Just There's very much a community, I guess. Mm. Okay. There was next also room. one um, just in this next room. Yep, the, the one that's on the, yep. on the left here. Was that, where did you take that photograph? Okay, that one, the one that's on the so postcard like thing. The one? With the... Yeah, the guy with the fish. That, um, that was just in a market in Shanghai, just in the middle of nowhere that we kind of stumbled upon. Once again, no Westerners in sight, and it was quite amazing. Most fresh food I've ever seen in my life, just everywhere. But, I don't know, it was... Totally unlike anything you would experience in Australia for the fact that there were fish's heads being cut off right in front of you, point to a live fish and they'd cut it off. They were selling bullfrogs, they were selling live octopus, they were selling anything you could imagine that was edible, like eels and scorpions and stuff like that. And people were just going and buying it like it was completely normal. And this guy, for some reason, knew I was taking this photo and just stared at me half and was happy to just sit there and look at me, so it turned out pretty cool. And also this one of the wall? The great wall. Um, did, you, I don't know. did you go up? Yeah, we went up, but I guess everyone's seen the Great Wall of China, but once you're up there, it's something else again. You can see it in a photo and it doesn't really do it true justice. It's something that I'd like everyone to do because it's truly amazing to think that they built it by hand. So. Yeah. Was it windy? No, it wasn't. It was a really nice day. And so when did you go? September, was it? September? And for how long was it, sorry? Two weeks. Two weeks? Yes. Well, thank you very much, Mitch. No worries. Thanks for